Hi, welcome to our knowledge session on Business Central reporting. Today we want to take a look at some of the key tools that are built into Business Central to allow you to get access to your data and present it to users when they need it. That's going to include things like the standard reports, uh, as well as the Word report layouts and the new Excel report um, functionalities. We also want to take a look at account schedules, which is kind of under underutilized at the moment, and the role center, which we think is a real big area to get that information to the users when they need it. We also want to take a look at some of the apps that we've written at 365 People to extend this functionality so that you can put power into the user's hands to customise their role centres and also write quick and easy simple reports to get access to the information they want when they need it. Throughout Business Central there is a plethora, a whole bunch of standard reports from various different areas of the system. In fact pretty much every module in the system has a whole load of reports that you can run. These are built on a couple of key technologies. The first one is a thing called RDLC. So let's have a look at a couple of those examples. You can see from my role center, I can click on the reports option and I've got some financial statements. If I click on the first option, balance sheet, I'll get presented with uh, a set of options. Every time you run one of these standard reports, you get to choose a various set of options depending on what the report is. So this time, because I'm running a balance sheet, I can choose my starting end dates and maybe a budget I want to include in that report. And then I can either send it um, to an email, for example, print it, or simply preview that report. So when I preview this report, we'll see a really simple uh, RDLC-based report. As you can see, it's fairly simple layout, it's very simple layout, um, and it has accurate but um, unexciting data. Um, you can, from here, save this report to PDF, or print it, or email it, but it's a fairly simple uh, reporting technology. Another example of an RDLC report, a bit more complex this time, is an inventory valuation report. So as I search, I can see I've got some reports showing up here. Uh, I click on inventory valuation. And from here I get some more options. This time I'm going to look at my value of my inventory. So again, we can, sort, we can um, specify some starting and end dates. And I can start filtering the records to be displayed. So this time I can limit it to certain ranges of products I want to see the value for. However, when I hit preview, again, I'll get a report layout on screen, this time a little bit more complex with some line highlighting and multiple columns and those sorts of things. And of course, I can click through to see various pages. So this is an example of an RDLC report that has a more complex layout. But the key thing to know about RDLC reports is they come out of the box, so you don't need to do anything um, development-wise to run them. But if you want to make changes to these things, for example, adding columns or changing the way they look, um, that does require a developer, which is fairly limiting. Um, whilst a developer can do this in a reasonable amount of time, just changing the layer to report is often perceived as something you want to, uh, a user to be able to do. For this reason, there is a second technology that's used in reporting in the standard reports from Business Central, which is Microsoft Word. For example, if I go and look at my posted sales invoices, we can see that from an, any particular invoice, I've got a print and send menu, and here I can press print. Now, what this will do is produce the posted sales document. From a NAV point of view, from a Business Central point of view, this is still a report. However, this time, these reports now use Microsoft Word. So I get the same options or same sets of types of options I've seen before. However, when I preview it, I get a more complex layout. So I can have images, I can have colors, things I could do in RDLC with development, but this time, this is powered purely by the Microsoft Word engine. And the big benefit of this is you can modify these layouts as a user. So you don't need a developer to change the layout. All you do is look for the custom report layouts menu. And from here I can see all the report layouts that are written in Word. So the one I just looked at then was my invoice. So I can search for invoice. And the one I looked at was the sales invoice blue simple. Again, from this list, we can run the report to preview it. So I can go and see that report to make sure I'm looking at the correct one. And there it is. And if I want to make a change, because this is a built-in report, I have to make a copy. So I go to Process, Copy, 
and I've now got a copy of my sales invoice report and it's no longer built in, which means I'm allowed to change it. So I can go back to process and this time export the layouts. Here I can save this as my invoice layouts and it gives me a Word document. When I open this Word document up, I should see the layout I looked at previously, but this time it's you can see it's using mapping to specify where the fields go. So if I want to change fields, if I want to change fonts, if I want to change layouts, it's just Microsoft Word. I simply make changes to this document, save it, and then re-import that layout. The important thing here is, whilst this is modifiable by a user, there are some limitations. For example, if you want to change the layout of the report, you want to change maybe the fonts or where fields appear, that's fine, you can do that in Word. But if there's a field missing, for example, you want to add item category, for example, to your invoice report for some reason, you would still need a developer to do that. There is a separation between the data that's being reported on and the layout of that data. The layout is something you can customize in Word. The data that's being given to that layout is still a developer modifiable piece of work. The other limitation that we found with this is it's Microsoft Word. So whilst you can make very attractive documents, there are still limits to where you can place things on screen. A good example is um, totals. It's often a requirement that people would like this total for a report to always be anchored to the bottom of the last page or to the first page. That's simply not possible in Word. You can put it at the bottom of the lines, it can stick with the lines, but there isn't an easy way in Word to say, put this at the bottom of the page, above the footer. So if you're okay with those sort of restrictions, Microsoft Word layouts are a really good way to change the way you do reporting. You simply save your document, import that document again, and now you've got a sales invoice, a new version of your sales invoice. Once you've done that, you can go to Report Layout Selections, and from here you can choose what is the default report. So I can say for my invoices, for my sales invoice, I can say instead of using the sales invoice blue layouts, I'd like to switch it to my new copy. Change that, rerun the report, and now everyone is getting the new layout of the report. So it's a really easy thing to do.